A 15 mile stretch of the Chattahoochee River is still closed this morning after a sewage spill was discovered late last week. While Fulton County officials have been working to clean up the water for days, those E. coli levels are still high, which caused a lot of issues for the businesses along the river during yesterday's July 4th holiday. We're going to have details on the businesses impacted and how they were able to pivot. That's coming up in our next half hour. 607 now, Chesley, if it gets much more humid, my hair is not going to fit in this little box. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep growing. It's like 1987 all over again. Oh, man, just <laughs> embrace it because that humidity is not going anywhere. Yeah, it's going to be hot and humid out there this afternoon. Once again, with those temperatures back into the 80s. Now, we do have the rain up here to the north. You notice uh, that we have a few isolated or embedded uh, heavier rain, heavier showers in here. Not a whole lot in the way of uh, thunder and lightning. Most of that now jumping the border into parts of Tennessee and into North Carolina. Temperature wise, we're in the 70s, starting off this morning well into the 70s in some spots like Atlanta at 77, 77, uh, 76 rather, 76 degrees also in Gainesville, 72 Covington, you're at 73 degrees in Marietta and over toward George's Rome at the current hour. The hour by hour forecast shows us hitting those 80s uh, between 10, 11 o'clock, 82 degrees by noon on our way up to 87 for an afternoon high temperature. I don't think we'll see much as far as breaks in the clouds, but if we do and we happen to get a lot of sunshine poking through, it's going to boost that temperature right on up a little bit. You'll notice during the afternoon afternoon also a few embedded thunderstorms and some of those showers out there. The chance for the shower could happen at any time today, but a little more likely for the thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. We'll see those start to trail off a little bit as we head into the evening, certainly by 9, 10 o'clock. A lot of that will start to end similar to what we saw last night. Some of you were able to get those fireworks in, uh, so not bad. Now this pattern unfortunately is going to continue, folks. So it's going to be for us for the rest of the week. At least those afternoon thunderstorms temperatures around the 90 degree mark uh, will feel much warmer than that or much hotter than that because of the daytime uh, because of the humidity. It's going to feel like the mid to upper 90s out there, uh, even though our temperatures will stay near the average, which is 90 degrees this time of year. Hey, it's July in Georgia. That's what you can expect, folks. You can also expect the quietness on the road so far this morning. Jerry Carnes, is it still like that? Yeah, it's starting to see a little bit of volume uh, in Cobb County. We want to say good morning to our friends in Marietta. There you're looking at I-75 southbound near the south loop. You see traffic to your right traveling southbound. A few brake lights, just a few over to the far right. That's uh, traffic that is starting to pick up in the HOT lanes, but still a uh, speed limit ride as far as we can tell. We'll keep an eye on Cobb County and I-85 in Gwinnett County to see if volume picks up for the rest of the morning. Jerry, thank you. 609 coming up this morning. We now know the details of when Dr. Christine King Ferris will be honored next week. We're going to share them with you coming up in about three minutes and we'll let you know where officers with the Alpharetta Police Department are going to find some new recruits that much more coming up after the break. Hey, 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 hey. It's right where it's been all morning. We're starting to get a little popping. Uh, let's see. I just shook it around a little bit. <laughs> okay.
We now know the details for the memorial services for Dr. Christine King Ferris, who was the older sister of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. She will be honored at Spelman College on Tuesday, where she worked as an educator for decades. Then next weekend, she will lie in repose at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. Her celebration of life is set for Sunday, July 16th. In addition to being an educator, Dr. King Ferris also helped establish the King Center. She died last week at the age of 95.